let's uh, start chronologically and, and talk about the, the slow start and, and some of the same stuff that you've been seeing all the past few games. Well, the, this, the first 20 minutes were practically unacceptable. I mean, it's just um, it's really mind-boggling that we can show up at this stage of the season with so much to play for. And I uh, have talked, have talked about it many times, and you know, at length, and 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 doing every psychological test you can do uh, on a basketball team, and then show up and not have an edge about you, and and just not really be excited about being out there. And when that happens, and you're not playing well to begin with, you know, it it, it the problem just compounds itself, and we saw that. It was a miserable 20 minutes of play. We were lucky, really lucky, to only be down eight at halftime. So did you say anything specifically? Was it the same same stuff you're always saying? Kind yeah. Of kind I, of honestly wish I had something else to say um, because we, we have tried everything, but it's, it's, really, it's really just a matter of how good do you want to be, you know, and, and how, how tough can you be, how mentally tough, more mental tough, me mentally tough than anything, you know. Do you, do you have the desire uh, to guard your man one-on-one? -on -one? Do you have the desire to take care of the ball and deliver passes where you need to and run plays effectively and efficiently and execute and all the things that you do? And, you know, you can't, you can't just show up and expect good things to happen. You, we talk all the time, you have to make things happen. You have to make it happen. Nobody's going to give it to you. And uh, I, feel like, I feel like we got over the hump a little bit in the second half with that, obviously. But, um, but you know, we, we've got to learn the lesson. We've got to let this be the last time that happens. Starting off the second half, something like 22 to 4, um, everyone playing well on the court. But it was also noticeable on the bench, yep. just the energy was completely different. Yep. Um, obviously, that is something that led to the good play on the court. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, one helps the other. You know, uh, Willie starts the first possession. Willie has two offensive rebounds and finally sticks one back in, and that, that energizes the guys on the bench because they see what Willie's doing over there, and the guys on the bench are encouraging and ready and excited about what's going on, and it's, it just, you know, it just runs its way all the way through the team in the same way that the negative did in the first half. It's just it's that simple. I mean, it's, um, you know, you, there's going to be games where you play hard and you're excited and you actually play well and you might not win, but you got to give yourself the chance. And, uh, you know, too often we're taking that chance away from ourselves. Uh, talk a little bit about Adam specifically, another monster game. Um, talk about what he was able to do out there and well, what the guys were able to do to get him the ball. Well, he's a, he's a perfect case study for what we're talking about. I think Adam's always ready to play, and, you know, you, and, he's, and he's a physically tough guy, and, he, and he's not, he, he wants a challenge. But, you know, our message to him is be an all-conference player. You know, your team needs you. Uh, go be an all-conference player. Show everybody in there that what you can do, you know, you don't have to be perfect about it, um, but demand the ball, you know, have a desire, have a desire to have a great half, and um, and he did exactly that. And our team needs it. You get you know, your best players have to show up uh, at, at times like that, and I give him a lot of credit for doing it. Now eight and six in the league, uh, Kennesaw loss, clinched berth in the A Sun tournament, first time since two thousand eight, two thousand nine for Stetson. Talk about what that means for this team and this program. Well, it's a, it's a great step. You know, there are a lot of steps that we've still got to climb, and that's one of them. And so um, no shame, no apologies, uh, you know. And, uh, and so I'm proud of those guys for, for accomplishing that. And, you know, so obviously the goal from this point forward is, is to keep climbing and um, put ourselves in the best seed we can get and uh, give ourselves the best chance to win. Now, you, you can't walk into that tournament not playing well and expect to win three games. And so how we do in these last four uh, are critical to, to what happens there. And, you know, I think obviously the, the better way to look at it really is can we go to Northern Kentucky and put two halves together instead of one.